Hey folks, it's Ivan with Nerdwork Network and Computer Enthusiast Master Race. Uh, today I got a new video of the uh, Define CTG uh, build block series and how to guides. Uh, today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, etching the tempered glass of the uh, side panel, give it a little bit more of a custom look. So, I wanted to show you all how I'm going to achieve this. Uh, but, uh, got some stuff laid out before me, as you can see, though. I just wanted to go over a quick explanation of some of this stuff and then I'll get to it. Uh, first off, to achieve this, though, we're going to be using a chemical compound called arm wretch. Basically, what it's going to do is once you apply it to the surface after a certain period of time, it's going to eat into the glass and I kind of give it that frosted etched look to it. Uh, this stuff is a uh, pretty dangerous. Um, uh, it can uh, cause severe burns, which may or may not be immediately painful or visible, uh, may be fatal or cause permanent damage to skin, eyes, or respiratory tract. Refer to the back panel. It's also recommended for ages 18 and over. So. Uh, Please be careful with this stuff. Uh, if you do happen to get it on you, if you follow this uh, guide, wash it off immediately with warm soapy water and uh, make sure every last bit of it's off on that. Uh, so anyways, I would highly recommend uh, wearing some gloves on that. These are just not on gloves. Uh, nothing fancy about that. Uh, I also have some uh, safety glasses that may be a little bit overboard, but I'm very protective of my eyes and I wanna make sure that none of it gets in there. Uh, to apply it though, there's no real proper way I guess you can apply it as long as it gets on there but I'm going to be using a soft tip brush a painter's brush and I'll have links for all of this stuff in the description as always too uh, but you just need to make sure you have a good even coating over the surface as well too with no gaps here and there uh, to clean the surface though I'm going to be using isopropyl alcohol get all those uh, dirty fingerprints off of there any dust grime or anything that may be hiding on there of course I have the in process that also will work with cleaning it uh, but in order to get my design transferred onto the uh, tempered glass, what I'm going to be using is vinyl. I'm going to be making a stencil out of this. Uh, you can use uh, other things to make a stencil, but I prefer vinyl as well. It's adhesive and uh, it sticks on there and works phenomenal with a lot of different modifications. Uh, to a uh, transfer the vinyl though, uh, I'm going to be using a painter's tape. You could use a, a transfer paper as well too, though, but painter's tape's cheaper. Uh, but a variety of different ways you could use to cut the vinyl itself, though, is either using a razor blade with a lot of concentration. Uh, you could get some pretty cool designs. I know some people uh, do some great work with a razor blade and just vinyl, but I'm not that talented with that, so I'm going to be using a vinyl cutter. I'll be using the Silhou or Silhouette Cameo 3, and I'll do a quick snippet of a uh, doing the uh, cutting with that as well, though. But anyways, uh, so this little stuff here is just for help with the vinyl. You'll see it in action in a minute. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get to it, and I'm going to swap sides over that and kind of give you a bit of a hands-down view of me doing the uh, modification for it. So, hope you enjoy.
All right, folks, we're back. I uh, got everything mounted back up on the case. Uh, got it nice and secure on there. Uh, first off, uh, pardon the case and everything. This is still a working project, so uh, missing the back panel on there. Don't have the uh, vertical uh, PCI bracket installed right now as I'm doing some other things with that. And the front panel still has some painter's tape on it from when I cut that up and everything. But anyways, I digress. Pardon that. Uh, but yeah, everything turned out really well with the etching. Uh, I really do uh, enjoy it, or I'm really satisfied with the results. Uh, I don't think it could have turned out any better on that for the type of application this is. Of course, if I had a laser etcher, things like that, it would be a lot better in that case, but it's pretty on par with a lot of it. Um, it does a, uh, have a bit of a, a texture to it over the glass as well, too, so it does have that feel on there. Uh, and it does reflect light pretty well as well. I have some of uh, the LEDs in there I'm going to go ahead and turn around in just a moment. Um, the only problem that I noticed with it, and it's only depending on the angle that you look at, is the L's a little bit lighter on some parts. For I guess I didn't get decent enough coverage on that, but it's only depending on the angle. Uh, when you come back looking at it straight out, it looks just perfectly fine. No problem with it. But I, uh, like I said though, uh, this was a very uh, simple modification. It's on the cheap as well too. I'll have links for everything in the uh, description for Amazon. Uh, that way so you can uh, get the stuff for it, try it out yourself. Uh, I highly recommend though that you do follow the instructions in terms of safety. This stuff is very volatile. Well, not volatile, but harmful to you. It will burn you and it can cause some serious damage. I mean, think about it. This stuff is eating through glass. So it kind of makes you think, yeah. Anyways, I digress. So just follow the safety instructions. Uh, then you should be fine on it. Uh, the application though, it turns out great. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, turn off the overhead light. So I apologize for the darkness. We'll take a moment for the camera to adjust probably. Man, talk about some low light on that camera. But anyways, let me go ahead and get these LEDs on. I just uh, had an extra set of reds that I popped in there for it. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, you should see a picture popping up here in a second what the uh, test application looked like in front of a uh, RGB LEDs just off of a motherboard. So I can give you an idea on this stuff. And when the case is lit up even more than that, it really does pop and it looks great. So once again, highly satisfied with the result. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any uh, questions about it, comments or anything, uh, please do uh, make a post on it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, of course, if you're uh, not subscribed, I'd really appreciate that as well, too. Uh, your subscriptions and stuff give me the motivation to continue to do more things like this. Uh, channels really set off in the uh, past few months, and I greatly appreciate all the support. But also, if uh, you're not a member of uh, Computer Enthusiast Master Race, the uh, link will be in the description as always. We'd love to have you over there. we got a lot of cool projects we're working on right about now. Uh, so uh, be sure to uh, head on over there and check them out. But thank you for watching. So until the next time, have a good day.